primitive sound That's louder than I remember. Let's do it. Some sounds of a deadly space battle. Pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey folks, my name is Richard F. Yates. I am, uh, I guess you, uh, I'm a writer, artist, poet, editor, DJ. I've done a whole bunch of junk in my life. Um, but I've never really actually figured out how to make my, my big mark. I've made thousands of little marks. If you look on Amazon for books, I've got like 11 books that I've either written or that, I, that I've uh, edited, you know, collections of short stories and edited other people's books. And um, I've got, uh, oh, God, thousands of pictures that I've drawn and, and or either digitally or painting or whatever and posted on different blogs. I've done a WordPress blog. I've done blogger blogs. I've done, I've got, uh, my current one is Steam It, but I mean, I've used Medium. I've used all kinds of other stuff. Um, I like Steam It now because... Uh, I used uh, WordPress for like seven years, and I, I spent a hundred bucks one year doing the pro plan and everything like that. And I never, I never made so much as a penny uh, from all of this creative effort that I put in every every single day. I mean, I uh, out of like six years, seven years that we did the the blog on WordPress, I think I only missed maybe like I, I had a stretch of about five years, six years where I think I only missed like four days total in that whole time and I mean I'm on Steam it now and I've uh, in the year well once I got enough resource credit Steam it is a, an interesting thing you need to have um, basically you kind of need it's a pay to play sort of situation in that once you have enough credits you can pretty much do whatever you want to um, because this system is actually based around cryptocurrency so you uh, if you uh, have enough invested in the system you're allowed to do more when you first start off you only have a little bit of resource credits so you can only you know vote a couple times post a couple times comment a couple times but as you build up stuff you know people like what you draw or like what you say or you know you you invest a little bit i think i put in like eleven dollars i had sold some t-shirts uh, or postcards or something through redbubble which is another place where you can see my junk um, and i used that eleven bucks to buy resource credits which now I you know every time I do a, a painting or put up a new video or a new something or other all of my resource credits are wasted in like one shot I, I have a lot now I can I can comment and post and vote and stuff all I want um, and it took a couple months before I built up enough resource credits to be able to do that um, uh, but steam it is fun it's where I post a lot of stuff now but I, I'm over all of this whole life thing that I've got going on you know we've done art barbecues I've done postal art we've done uh, I've done radio DJing I've done you know professional DJing for like weddings and things like that I've done all kinds of stuff to to try and entertain the world and keep myself happy and you know the kids and I I have two daughters and we have done you know bag 
puppets, lunch bag puppets. We've done you know various movies, done radio shows where the kids sing songs. Uh, I'll play a couple of that type of thing on here because I've also done audio for years and years and years. I mean, I had a radio show for a while called Captain Greybeard's Primitive Radio System, but most of what that one was, uh, Captain Greybeard's Etherwave Radio, that's what it was called. Most of that was just me playing music. Um, eventually, it started as a podcast, but it, it got picked up as a live stream thing by some company out of uh, San Francisco. <laughs> and uh, so every Sunday from 9 until I got bored, because I had the 9 o'clock till uh, whatever midnight slot, something like that, or, or 1, I could just sit and play music. And we did all kinds of weird stuff with that. I had like uh, my cousins Keenan and Carson had a band at the time called Toxic Underground and they actually called into the show and then played a song live uh, over our phone answering machine and so I just put the microphone uh, and my microphone at the time was a broken digital camera it didn't work to take pictures anymore because we'd done something to the lens but the little condenser mic that was in it still picked up so that was what I used as my audio recording device was a broken digital camera and I just put the digital camera up near the phone and got their cover I think they did uh, I can't remember if it was a black flag song or a misfit song or something but they did some song over the telephone answering machine and we recorded it through the condenser mic and it went out live for <laughs> for the half a half a dozen people who were listening but that was a lot of fun and I mean I would sit for three or four hours and just play my favorite songs and um, eventually I tried to do some online, I don't remember what company it was through, but I was trying to do a radio show through that and it, it's, radio shows suck. So podcasting I like though, because you can sculpt it, create it. And, you know, I thought instead of doing other people's stuff, I've never really liked doing licensing. I, you know, never like to worry about copyright infringement, that sort of stuff. So I usually make my own art. I usually take my own photos. I've do my own writing. I don't like to copy and paste other people's stuff when I can I can write it myself. Um, I thought, why don't I just do a podcast where I make all the noises or, you know, me and my family make all the noises. And I've got this kind of backlog of old weird audio things that we've done over the years. You know, the little kids singing a song about Ronnie James Dio and making the perfect, like, BLT sandwich or something. I've got there's all kinds of weird stuff, and then just recently I did an interview with my four month old granddaughter, um, which I'll play that a little bit here. But over the over, I thought audio would be fun. I, I like audio. It's it's easy to make. I can edit it myself because I know how to use the software for that. I try and make these Minecraft videos lately, but I don't get how computers work. I don't know. The, how the capture card stuff functions real well and so the videos are fuzzy and glitchy and I can't fix that because I'm not good enough at the computer to do it but audio I've done audio for so long I mean I started recording audio on cassette tapes back in the 70s so I know audio um, I like audio I can do audio. So I thought, I'm going to do a podcast again. Why not? I mean, and then because I'm involved in the Steam thing, I thought, well, why don't I try? There's a Steam service. It's kind of like SoundCloud. Um, and I'll try to do stuff on that. And that's so that's what this is all about. Um, one of my radio programs that I tried to use was the Primitive Sound System. And so I'm going to reuse my own name because I've got bumpers and stuff for that already of, you know, the family and I and the cats making noises. And um, so this is an audio collage podcast thing. And I also maybe I'll try D. I don't know. There's there's a couple different things I'll try. I'll see what I'll see what sticks. You know, I've always used the shotgun approach. You, know, you draw 500 drawings and you do them real fast and if two of them are good then that's two more good drawings than most people will ever bother to do and you know there's 499 that may not have been that great but they're a learning experiences and b i always have fun doing them i just like making stuff i mean i like making videos i like making audio i like making you know writing poems and stories and um i just it's just entertaining the cats are looking at me like I'm crazy because they're like, why is he talking to himself? It's what I feel like doing today. What are you going to do about it? Huh, cheese? 
What are you going to do? Nothing. He's going to glare at me. That's what he's going to do. So that's what I'm doing. This new thing is audio entertainment. And then I figured since video is better than audio in everybody else's eyes, I'll make really good sculpted audio. And then I'll just have thousands of pictures. I mean, not, not even exaggerating, thousands of pictures. Uh, photographs, drawings, digital images, all that stuff. I'll put all of that in uh, the blender and we'll see what happens. So we'll call this the Primitive Sound System again, since that's the way I've tried to use that name several times. But we're going to go for it. And then here's that other cat, Gitsy's back. I'll put a picture of Gitsy in the, uh, in the video. Because... Uh, so I don't know. This is either going out as video or audio. And I like how I'm shifting gears quicker than a, a speedster going on a drifting adventure through the middle of a busy city. <laughs> so there you go. And just for anybody who's wondering, I sewed the crotch back in my pants yesterday with a thread that's a different color than the pants. I call that conspicuous repair. It's uh, it's where you show that you have repaired something. Um, I like I have a purple backpack, and when the straps ripped, I sewed it back together using yellow thread, so everybody would know. I want to make sure people know that you can take old stuff uh, and sew it back together and fix it, and it's still useful. Um, so old ideas, old audio bits that I recorded years ago, old thread, old pants, old backpacks old images, images going back 10 years or more. That's what's going into this whole project. So, uh, and then plus I do a lot of weird, stupid voices and I'm really bad at it, but that's part of what makes it fun. So that's what we've got going on today. That's what we've got going on for the rest of the world. So, oh, you hear that beep, beep, beep. That means that the food I've been cooking is ready. So woo, we'll talk to you soon or, you know, stick around for all kinds of weird noises because noises are cool, right? You think you can stop me? This one's called Tooth and Nail. Nabbed by the creeps, she fought Tooth and Nail. Both them guys. She bited, she scratched, she kicked, and she screamed, but in a decidedly threatening and angry way, not like a sissy at all. And Tooth and Nail got hurt. They bled, they whimpered, they tried to get away, cause they was scared to death of that crazy chick who looked like such easy pickings from behind. Boy oh boy was they sorry that day. And the blood stains ruined their favorite shirts. What'd you say? What's the record, Ellie? She's practicing. Tatered cat attacks gym shorts. Yes. Tatered cat attacks gym shorts. How did you come up with tatered? Tatered minglers used to live in our basement. What does tatered mean? Ellie, what do you think tatered means? <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> do you remember what tatered means? It means squished fingers when you're skateboarding. Well, that was tatered fingers. Tatered just meant beat to crap. <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know. Have you ever been a tatered mingler? You have two uncles say tatered mingler? Only two? It's just way more than two. Okay. Four or five. Okay, then. Practice right. So we'll have to play this for her teacher now, but she'll have her long with two. Oh, fine! Practice nice. See, recently we had to write a letter to the school asking Ellie, asking, uh, for the teachers to give Ellie permission not to say the Pledge of Allegiance because she's offended by the religious elements of the Pledge of Allegiance. How do you feel about that, Maria? She's a rebel. What did you say? What did you mean? What did I mean? What? Like, saying that you don't have to do religious stuff. You never had to. Well, they tried to make you do the Pledge of Allegiance. Not you if you don't. You could have just stood there and not done it. I did. I sat down and didn't do it. We had to set it up today. That's only because I threw it back in there. So. It's less disruptive. So? Why? It's disruptive, disruptive of the class to say the Pledge of Allegiance, which is all religion. Religion! 
actually it's patriotism. patriotism. So it has religious stuff in it. So it's disrupting one word that's the religious. Religious. real class. Mm -hmm. One nation under God. It's like all about religion. What do you think? See? Dear Dad. Dear Dad. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hmm? Why is she saying it? You're saying it. <laughs> what? <laughs> you said, well, I'm just saying. I am just saying. Racism. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Sauce? Yes? No? Maybe? Okay. Well, we'll do that then. Does that sound like a good plan? Is that a good plan? We have this. We have this sorted out. Okay. Here we go. We'll have some more applesauce. Greetings, citizens. This is Richard F. Yates and Felicity Hansen, and today. We are going to be discussing a number of political things, right, kid? Yeah, it, well, you got to talk. Just jumping up and down, we can't hear you. So, how do you feel about the price of tea in New Orleans? Are you a fan of tea in New Orleans? Huh? You're not going to say? Oh, well, you have no opinions on that topic. I don't blame you. It's kind of a dull topic. Uh, let's see, what other things can we talk about? How about... Uh, what's your favorite cartoon? Jumping up and down. Whoa! And attacking. So, somebody fighting. Popeye? Is it Popeye? You're eating a lion, so maybe it has something to do with eating lions and fighting and Popeye. W whoa! <laughs> I think I'm onto something. So, kick once for yes and twice for no. Whoa! Yeah, oh, jeez. Hey, you're throwing things. Whoa, it's crazy. <laughs> That's what I thought you were going to say. So, oh, now it looks like there's a show coming on the TV, but we're not going to watch that because we're making our own entertainment. It's much more fun than, much more fun than watching other people's. Although this is a good one. We like The Prodigy. This is Charlie by The Prodigy. It's one of their early songs, you know. Yeah. Oh, dancing. She's raving. Woo. Can you hear that? That's, I think that's pretty cool. So, how are you? How do you think the interview is going so far? Whoa, you think it's doing pretty good? Oh, here. You probably need to drink a coffee here. Have your coffee. And by the way, uh, disclaimer, that's not a real cup of coffee. It's a plastic coffee cup with a rattle in it. But she likes to chew on it because she's teething, even if nobody else believes in her teeth. So, now that you've had your coffee and you've had time to relax a little bit, and you've talked about your favorite cartoons, and you know that you like to rave dance to Prodigy, uh, what else have you been doing lately? You got any hobbies or anything? Any hobbies? 
Oh, you're ignoring that question. It's not a, apparently it's not a very good journalistic question. I should have done my research. Um, let's see. What other interesting things can we talk about? How do you feel about the ABCs? Do you like A, B, C, D, E? Are you into those letters at all? Yeah, you're right now you're studying that coffee cup, trying to find the best place to... What? Best place to put your teeth? Maybe. Boy, it's st stone silent type. You're just like Richard Butler from the Psychedelic Furs. Next you're going to have one of your giraffes or something tell me that uh, you don't want to answer any questions and that I'll need to speak to your manager. Who is your manager, by the way? Should we get them on the phone? No? Oh, you're going to throw a coffee cup at me, huh? Now I see how it is. Well, I think this has been a very illuminating interview. I'd like to thank you for your time and thank you listeners for tuning in. Uh, maybe next uh, time we get together for another episode, we'll we'll find out a little more about the interests of this enigmatic uh, young performer um, who right now is just ah, throwing a coffee cup at me. That's the way it's going to be, huh? All right. Uh, anything, uh, last words? Anything else you want to say? No? You're just going to try and strangle the phone? What? You started to say something there, but... Now you're looking the other way. Okay, just like Richard Butler. Yep, she's been studying the psychedelic furs playbook. Right? <laughs> All right, everybody. I'd like to thank you for stopping by, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll... Uh... What is it? You think so? Okay, well, maybe I'll, uh, I'll add in some sound effects later on if we need to. This has, has been, been a primitive, primitive production, production of the, of the primitive, primitive Entertainment, entertainment workshop. workshop. Thanks, Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. time.